The world of Coral Island is huge with so many areas to explore, which means you're likely to find yourself spending lots of time traveling around on foot in early game. But luckily, there's another quicker way to get around the island. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sunstone, and today I will be going over how to unlock every fast travel shrine on Coral Island to help you get around much more easily. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. First of all, in order to unlock the fast travel mechanics, there are a few steps you will need to take. On the night of spring day six, in your first year, you will experience a strange dream. To make sure it was nothing more than that, you will need to invest investigate one of the sacred trees around the island, which are found north of your farm in the forest, in the center of Starlet Town outside of the lab, west of the lake in the woodlands, and just outside the south exit of your farm. After interacting with any of these trees, you will have to wait until the next day to receive a letter in your mailbox from Chieftain, who you will need to meet west of your farm before being redirected to the lake temple to meet the goddess. While it sounds like a lot of steps, the quest tracking in-game will guide you from step to step. Once you have completed this series of tasks, the next quest called Temple Offering will kick off, which you will need to complete to unlock the first two fast travel waypoints. The easiest offering to complete first is the Essential Resources Sesogen, which requires basic materials you can find on your farm and around the island. In fact, you probably already have some tucked away in storage since you're keeping all of the materials you collect right? So you can choose 5 out of the 7 potential resources to offer from 10 wood, 10 stone, 10 fiber, 10 sap, 5 maple seeds, 5 oak seeds, or 5 pine cones. Once you have completed this offering, you will be blessed by the goddess with the ability to teleport, unlocking the temple waypoint found here at the lake, along with the waypoint at your farm, an essential for quickly heading back home. Now it'll be much easier to travel back and forth to the temple to complete future offerings, which will be an integral component of the game to unlock rewards, future waypoints, and of course, heal the island. So now that you've unlocked the fast travel system and the first two waypoints, how do you activate the rest of them? Well, first of all, I want to share that if you'd like to figure this out for yourself, there are riddles found on the fast travel shrines that provide clues for how to unlock each of them respectively. But otherwise, I will help you out because I was actually able to unlock every fast travel point when I played early access. There are actually two other waypoints that are tied to specific altars at the Lake Temple. First is the shrine found at the Lookout, which reads, if you want to head here fast, make two offerings at the southern tree. While this riddle can be a little confusing, it actually makes sense once you understand that each of the altars found at the Lake Temple are connected to one of the four sacred trees found around the island. The easiest and quickest way to unlock the lookout waypoint is to complete the Spring Sesogen Offering on the first altar at the Lake Temple, which requires spring crops and scavengeables. So get planting. There is also a shrine found near the carpenters in the forest. This waypoint reads, to reach the forest with haste, make two offerings to the forest tree. The sacred tree in the forest is tied to the second catch altar at the lake temple, so complete any two bundles of offerings here to unlock it. The final waypoint connected to temple offerings specifically will take quite a bit longer to unlock, which is the shrine found right near the hot springs. The clue is very cryptic, simply reading, make the hot spring better, but you might recall that the hot spring first started healing itself once you made your first two temple offerings. So to continue healing it, you just need to continue completing bundles. To be more specific, you will need to complete exactly 10 bundles of offerings at the Lake Temple from any altar to unlock this waypoint. There are also many waypoints connected to various skills, specifically mining, diving, bug catching, and fishing. The clue found on the shrine next to the forest cavern says if you want to mine with ease, then reach the bottom of the earth. Now you don't actually have to get all the way through the mines to the very bottom to unlock this one, you just have to reach level 15 in the earth mines, which is the first gate available to explore. You can unlock this one quite easily and early on, which will help you travel back and forth between the mines for future expeditions. If you reach level 15 in the earth gate before unlocking
lacking fast travel abilities, be sure to revisit level 15 via the elevator to activate the shrine. Another fairly simple one to unlock is the waypoint found at the diving pier. The hint on this shrine reads, your path will be clear when shallow sea blooms heal. All you'll need to do here is activate one solar orb when diving, which is introduced on spring day eight, and then you're set. Again, this one is essential to help you progress with clearing the ocean and healing the coral. The fast travel waypoint found in the woodlands is really helpful to unlock for quick access to the blacksmiths for visiting Raphael and Pablo and also upgrading your tools and opening coffers and geodes, of course. This shrine reads, one will open the totem of legend when catching these buzzing goods. To unlock this waypoint, you will need to successfully catch any 50 insects with a bug net. The insects don't have to be unique, but it seems that catches only start counting towards the unlock after you have the fast travel ability. It also seems that you'll need to use a net specifically for the catch to count, so not the ones you would rummage from a trash can, for example. The waypoint found at the beach by the abandoned villa has a clue that says breeze through the sandy air retrieve the living beans in the water this unlock is quite similar to the previous shrine except for this one you need to successfully catch any 50 fish with a fishing pole again the fish don't have to be unique but the total number of fish caught will begin tallying once you have the fast travel ability and again fish from garbage bins don't seem to count finally there are also several waypoints on land that are tied to the completion of of specific quests. A very, very convenient waypoint is found right in the center of Starlet Town. The shrine reads, to quickly reach your community, fill the market with local joy. To unlock this fast travel, you will need to complete the first half of Sam's local produce quest, which involves shipping 50 bronze quality vegetables and 25 bronze quality fruits. Another extremely handy waypoint to unlock is the one right next to the entrance of the museum. This one is great to have available to quickly stop by and make new donations. The shrine reads, unravel the locked passage, donate splendor yet to be displayed. In order to unlock this waypoint, you'll need to complete the pick starter launch quest. This quest won't be available until you complete the museum expansion quest by donating 50 items to the museum. After you've done this, you will receive a letter from Scott. From there, you'll need to go to the museum and then wait a week for the pick starter to become funded, successfully expanding the museum and unlocking fast travel. Finally, for land and waypoints, there is the fast travel point found right outside of the giant village. This shrine reads, the way will open when at least two giants freed. This hint is one of the least cryptic, however, of course you'll need to know how to free the giants in order to actually do so. Well, I'll leave the actual story for you to experience and discover on your own, you will need to reach the bottom of both the earth and water gates in the Forgotten Cavern to free them and unlock the fast travel. Now there is also fast travel available in the ocean, and it actually connects with all of the fast travel points on land. It is incredibly convenient. There are waypoints found right outside each of the ocean caves, which are located in various ocean depths, including 10, 20, 40, and 50 meters deep. There's also a waypoint right inside the entrance of the Merfolk Kingdom. To unlock each of the waypoints found at the entrances of the caverns at various depths, you will need to complete all solar orb activations, healing the area's coral for each respective depth. You can see exactly how many sites are left to activate for each depth by tracking your progress on the diving map. Finally, in order to unlock the fast travel point within the Merfolk Kingdom, you will just need to gain access to it by cleaning all the 10 and 20 meter coral sites and receiving an upgraded diving suit from Ling. Well, there you have it friends. I hope this helps you unlock every fast travel shrine on Coral Island to help you get around much more easily. Please give the video a like if it did, and let me know down in the comments which waypoint you find yourself using the most or which one you really wish you had activated. Anything and everything, you know I always love hearing from you. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and until next time, take care. And a very special thanks to Paul, Meredith, Ember, Formotis, Tansy, Becca, Anime Lover, Jack, James, Cisco, Phoebe, Janelle, Dragonfay, Judith, Blossom, Sunshine, Elsa, Cheese, Divine Raven, Kayla, Wolf, Salem, Zaries, Lawrence, Fabiola, Sunshine, Kicknell, Alyssa, Flores, Arnica, and Grey Ghost, my beautiful gemstone members, I love you all very much and thank you so so much for the extra support on the channel, which really helps to make all that I do possible. It means the world to me. 